The World Wildlife Fund says global warming is having a devastating effect on the Arctic. It claims climate change has been occurring in all Arctic systems. The loss of summer Arctic sea ice has increased dramatically. According to the new WWF report, the rise in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is causing a rise in temperature for most of the extremes of the world. We've completely underestimated the rate and sensitivity of climate change, so it means that we need to cut our greenhouse gas emissions sooner and by more than we'd previously thought. The impact on both the landscape and the wildlife in the Arctic is pronounced. It's impacting on the atmosphere and oceans, as well as species and populations. The Arctic Sea and Greenland ice sheet is melting faster than ever, with growing concerns that sea levels are rising faster than ever before. Melting of ice is the most significant and most visible change that's going on in the Arctic at the moment, but the new report showing that all Arctic ecosystems and species are being affected, and the people up there are being affected also. The main reason for this dramatic change is the warming up of the atmosphere caused by increasing levels of pollution. This in turn is causing temperatures to increase around the world. The warming that happens across the globe is, is much more at the poles, and the Arctic in particular, and there have been increases across the world of less than one degree C, but in the Arctic it's been more like five degrees C in some areas, particularly in parts of the ocean in the summer. And the loss of Arctic sea ice in the summer, last summer in 2007, was so dramatic, it had never been seen before, and it sent shock waves to the scientific community. And this means that it can increase the amount of global warming as we lose sea ice. The WWF want international action to reduce greenhouse gases. They understand the magnitude of the physical and ecological challenge ahead and believe efforts have to be made to help preserve the polar regions. What we need is for our global leaders across the world to come together in two years' time and secure a new global deal that cuts greenhouse gases to deliver a secure future for us and we need to throw every ounce of muscle we have at this, like our lives depend on it, because they do. There's also a call for the public to play their part and to take steps to reduce emissions. This is from an individual up to international action that we need on climate change. We need all of the governments around the world to make a new global deal to cut greenhouse gases and each of us individually need to do the same. The message that's coming out of the Arctic in this new report from WWF shows that the Arctic is giving us a strong, stark and shocking warning. This is the real Pearl Harbour for the world now and we need to react to climate change with everything that we have. The WWF believe if action is taken sooner rather than later, the reduction of emissions will have a positive impact on saving the extreme regions of the world.